So working? Okay. I said it wasn't working. Oh, friends. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody hear me? Oh, wait a second. Am I even on here? Am I, uh... Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, two sick toddlers, or whatever, however old they are. One sick toddler, one sick baby, one sick ah, toddler, one sick four-year-old. Screams. Oh, um, one sick dada. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Do Nothing Project. Real life meditation for real life. Good to see everybody. Oh, I want to just get right to it because oh, I need to go to bed. But uh, I've missed doing it the past few weeks. Thanks, Aaron did last week. And uh, uh, Andrew was moderating the blue font the week before. So much appreciated. Uh, yeah, someone said. Right in the middle of the um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Just got the one to fall asleep, and then Sarah's trying to give uh, Sasha, who's super congested, the snot sucker. Remember this? Not I don't know if anyone's ever heard of a snot sucker. If you're a parent, you do. It's like this Swedish thing. You stick this tube in your kid's nose, and you just basically to clear the sinuses. And he's not like that, so. That's what's happening over here. <laughs> anyway, I'm very happy to be here and just do some mellow meditation. I don't have much to say other than that. Uh, and I just, it's so lucky that I, I get to do this. Because I won't do it for myself. Uh, but when I, I come on, because uh, I look forward to seeing the community and then it, it uh, it gives me the meditation. I can guide the meditation and still get the benefits of the meditation. So I, at this point, I can just sort of just describe what's happening in my experience. I don't even, it's not like any work. Uh, so I'm happy to see all the names. Tara, Christiana, Gabriel, Cashew, Ruth, Fred, um, Chris. Hey, guys. Hey, yeah. Anybody, I guess you guys have never seen Sasha. You always see Eden. Do you want to bring him over and say, he's now doing a lot. I'll show you. I'm going to introduce you to uh, little Sasha here, who's a year and a half and the cutest. Not long, longer screaming. Oh, hey, my buddy. Hey, my buddy. Hey. Yeah. Here he is. He's a big boy. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's very strong. He's a strong little guy. Aren't you, buddy? You're strong. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Baby. It's baby Sasha you're looking at. Baby. Mm-hmm, baby. baby. Dada. Yeah, it's Dada. Oh, he's doing better now. <laughs> okay. Thanks, my love. You want to say hi, or do you want to prefer to be out of the picture? Sarah, say hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. Good night, buddy. Good night. Good night. All right, friends. So let's just do this one in honor of this particular Sunday night at the end of October. This will be our Halloween meditation. Thanks, everyone. Definitely have a couple beautiful boys. Very beautiful family. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Now we can start by. Oh. Okay, assume the position however you uh, prefer to. 
uh, do nothing. Maybe you want to lay down. Maybe you want to sit in meditation posture or just sit in a chair. Sometimes when I, I meditate, I like to uh, stretch really slowly. Let's see how fully I can get into the meditation, into meditating while still just doing a stretch too, so I get benefits of that. But as always, you can follow along with my guidance or just do your own thing. I like starting with a few slower breaths just to drop down into my body. Arriving, feeling the connection with the ground, that, uh, that contact and breathing up from the ground, breathing out and letting go and landing more firmly. Sometimes I spend an entire meditation just noticing the ground. <laughs> That's grounding, literally, coming down out of your head. Lower you put your attention generally. Or grounding it is. That's a bit of a overgeneralization, but there's something to that. And then just sort of take this moment at the beginning. Oh yeah, I actually don't have to be anywhere, do anything, go anywhere. I'm choosing this. I'm choosing to sit here in relative, these simple conditions. This little break. What does it feel like to actually choose it, to embrace that? So not out of like a duty, you know it's good for you but because oh yeah I think I'm going to just enjoy doing nothing here even with lots of thoughts and feelings I'm orient to that just appreciating the break And home base can help, especially if there's lots of momentum of, you know, worries and stuff happening. If you're feeling jumpy or distractible or anything, you can just sort of use a, a home base at the beginning to, or all through. That just gives your mind something to do. Let's the thoughts slowly kind of slow down while you commit to just the feeling of the breath or contact with the ground or the sense of the whole body sitting or sound maybe in the space or some other home base an inner mantra visualization a candle flame leaf of a plant or a good old handy breath always there.
and how patient can you be as you sit here? Letting this just be what it is. Thoughts come and go, feelings, sounds. Oh, it's just happening on its own and you're just kind of poised here in the middle. Practicing let it practicing letting it all move through. Not getting hooked, stuck, attached. Not resisting, not judging, not fighting, expecting, wondering. Those things come and go, and then we just come back. The neutral position. Sometimes you notice you're in a thought loop, like you're kind of telling a story to yourself or something. And you realize that was happening and come back. Just to hear. What happens if you don't need to tell any stories anymore? Just unhook from the storytelling and let things be what they are without the story, the elaborations or additions. a good prompt actually what's it like to be here without telling a story about here
kind of inquiry you can have as you sit and do nothing.
Okay. Still sitting. Sinking into the <laughs> not much of anything happening. I feel like it could be nice the last few minutes to um, do some kind of gratitude practice. Any kind of nurture positive practice, but gratitude is good. Just taking this few few minutes to reflect on what you're grateful for. Small things, bigger things, but the small things are important. Like the little things of the day, the a view from a window, a smell of the fall air. Watching kids on the street play. Feeling of a warm flannel shirt. Just the things that make up the life. Say thank you. Or just feel it. And you can extend it to people too. People and animals. community I'm thankful for the co-regulation which is what happens here help regulate each other thank you whatever you want to thank thank you It can be clear, it can be wistful, it can be warm, it can be neutral. It can feel like you're going through the motions or it can feel really sincere, it can be all those things. Aiming for gratitude. Thanking the quiet here at the end. The nurturing quiet. Welcome, Emma. Thank you, Ruth. Jill, Paul, Valentina. Thank you for your practice, everyone. Jeff, thanks, Andrew, Michael. Hat Creek Dog Training. Nice, Tom, welcome. That's what it is. Not much of anything happens. <laughs> Hi, Tisha. Sarah and Fred and uh, Roma. Sometimes the comments go out fast. I can't say hi to everyone. Sorry. I'm trying to. Shane, Laura, Dominique, Emma, Myrna, Emily, Isabella, Richard, Susan, Allison, Al S. Brown, Christine, Sheila, Christiana, Brenda. Victoria, Sarah, Susan, Stephen, Paul, and everyone. I'm just going to try it. I'm not going to, I'm going to just not kneel a million names now. 
and all the people who of course are sitting and not um, typing into their uh, screens and all the people watching it after, which are the majority, um, still get the, oh, what was it? Uh, I did a podcast episode. We've been recording our next season. It's Tasha and I doing, um, Tasha and I did like amazing, really interesting, amazing guests interviews. And we had a really good one with uh, this guy, Vince Horn, who's someone I like. I've known for a while. But anyway, he has this, uh, he talks about drafting when you know when you're meditating together and someone's been med you're, you're in a group and or someone's kind of really meditating and you can kind of draft them just like in a uh biking you kind of get in you can kind of get the energy of it you know when you're sitting in a group so we draft each other here that'd be cool actually i should do a meditation about that maybe next time all right i'll do one called drafting and i'll kind of point out some cues around that because it'd be hilarious thanks for sharing the um Andrew, the uh, links there. Oh yeah, music ceremonial meditation tomorrow night will be cool at CEC. Something interesting there every Monday. That's another free community at uh, not not for profit that I uh, was part of many years ago and still am. And great to see everybody. Oops, oops. Oh, you're welcome, Candice. Um. And great to see everybody. Um, anyway, you can, even if you watch it later, there's that drafting effect, uh, which is amazing. You know. Okay, friends. Oh, yeah. Fred, Fred loves the drafting. He's a road cyclist. I will uh, catch you guys next week. Have a good night or a good day depending on where you are on the hemispheric arrangement. Sleep well, everybody. Or wake well, day well, work well. <laughs>